Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you on how to create a report ranges in Microsoft Access. This is automatic guys, just like this one. If we click this report, as you can see, starting date and ending date. The starting date would be the first day of the month, which is uh, the current month is April now. So April 1, 2022 and the last day of the month. If we proceed to the next month, which is May, so the starting date also will change to me one like for example this guys if we change the date let us change to me me change okay when we close and then open again so starting date is me one and the ending date is me 31 so how to do this if you are still interested, please watch this video until the end and please do subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. So, let's try. Design view. Also, this one also. Design view. And then, let us create a new one. Blank form. Let us put two ticks box. Let's go to design first. Okay. box let's rename do this to starting date this one is ending date and then let us open the property sheet guys click this and then let us go to control source this one guys and then let us click these three dots to have a bigger space so let's type date serial for the starting date date serial and then year let's type year and then date open and end close and close parenthesis and then to proceed to the next Let's put comma and then month. Again, date. Open and enclose parenthesis. And then comma. Let's put one. And enclose parenthesis. Let's try. Okay. Let's open. Me 1 20 22. This one, guys. Because uh, the current month is May 29. So, for the ending date, again, this one, control source, let's type date serial, year, date, comma, month, date again, and then, plus one comma then zero let's try guys if we click this form here we go it's working guys so me 1 2022 to me 31 2022 let's change the date let's go back to april And this is it. April 1, 2022. April 30, 2022. So, that's all guys. I think this is enough. If you have some questions, you know what to do. Just comment it down below. And by the way, if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about Microsoft Access, then please consider subscribing this channel. Once again, thank you and see you to my next video.